Attack on Titan, 10 anime heroes Eren would work with. Eren is a unique protagonist who switches from hero to villain in Attack on Titan, but there are a few anime heroes who would get along with him. Attack on Titan is a complex anime with a protagonist who goes from idealistic to genocidal. Eren's character arc is elaborate and full of depth, but his experiences show how even a hero can fall and become a terrifying villain. There are many characters in other anime series who would understand his journey or have even gone through something similar. Young Eren's black and white view of the world may have appealed to some anime protagonists and heroes. But older Eren's brutal perspective would have been more practical for others. 10. Lelich's quest to defeat Britannia is a path of blood code Geass. The protagonist of Code Geass, Lelich 6 Britannia stands for the darker side of justice. He commits evil to defeat a greater evil. Fighting against Britannia, he makes a dangerous contract with the Witch CC and creates the Black Knights. Their rebellion leads to many deaths, and Lelich is forced to take a different approach. The Zero Requiem arc has a lot of things in common with the rumbling, especially since the end result is similar. Eren and Lelich would definitely understand one another, as they both possess highly volatile abilities and carry the heavy burdens of fighting for freedom. 9. Remuru advocates for peace until his people are killed that time I got reincarnated as a slime. In that time I got reincarnated as a slime, the good-intentioned Remuru Tempest only wants peace between humans and his newly created nation of monsters. Unfortunately, other countries disagree. Remuru's pacifistic stance and his actions as a leader indirectly lead to his people's deaths when the country of Falmouth invades Tempest. The slime hero isn't happy. He decides to become a demon lord and single-handedly massacres Falmouth's army. Remuru may have an easygoing temperament, but it's not a good idea to upset him. And since his power as a demon lord rivals that of the founding titan, Eren would definitely get along with this demon slime. They may even be able to learn a few things from one another. 8. Kirito does what he has to do when pushed into a corner Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online's Kirito is quite similar to a younger Eren. Starting out as a simple MMORPG player. He becomes the hero who saves Aincrad. His success costs him dearly, as it also turns him into a killer. He doesn't struggle as much as Eren does, but his goal is always to acquire freedom. He isolates himself from others, accepting the unfair label of beater. In a world like Eren's, he might have made the same decisions Eren did. And maybe in a better world, Eren and Kirito could go out for a drink. With Mikasa and Asuna coming to hunt them down for being irresponsible. 7. Seal makes a pact for a demon to get revenge Black Butler. The young protagonist of Black Butler, Seal Phantom Hive, has a tragic background. He and his twin brother, Seal, are taken captive and badly abused by a cult. Who then sacrifice Seal in a ritual? Seal succeeds in summoning a demon and makes a contract with him, later naming the creature Sebastian Michaelis. The price for Sebastian's assistance is unfortunately Seal's own soul. Like Aaron, Seal accepts to abandon a fundamental part of himself, and he's willing to do whatever it takes in his quest for revenge. Having a demon to fight for you is a double edged blade. Much like the power of the Titans, and Eren would understand and respect Seal's decisions. 6. Tanjiro Kamadu turns into a demon for the sake of his family Demon Slayer. As a simple coal burner living on a mountain, Demon Slayer's Tanjiro returns home only to find his entire family slaughtered by demons. The only survivor, his sister Nezuko, is now a demon and tries to kill him. He becomes a demon hunter, dedicating his life to finding a cure for Nezuko while making sure demons don't destroy other families. It's a quest that's not unlike Eren's mission to kill all titans. 
Tanjiro even briefly becomes a demon and goes on a rampage before he is thankfully returned to his human form. Eren would happily work with both versions of the character but would likely be extra happy to embrace having demon Tanjiro by his side. 5. Yuji Itadori becomes a vessel for the King of Curses Jujutsu Kaisen. Yuji Itadori, the young protagonist of Jujutsu Kaisen, just wants to save people. As a normal human, he is unable to do anything to help fight the cursed spirits attacking his friends. He ends up swallowing Sukuna's finger, which makes him the vessel of the King of Curses. Yuji is right now exactly where Eren used to be shortly after the Battle of Trost when his Titan powers were just discovered. Like young Eren, Yuji is new at controlling his powers, but his life as a sorcerer is teaching him lessons just as harsh as those scouts learn. He now knows he can't save everyone. And sometimes, he'll have to kill humans. He and Eren Jaeger would understand one another very well. 4. Rem protects her loved ones at all costs Re, Zero. In Re, Zero, Rem and her sister Ram are twin Oni born with one horn each. Despised for being an anomaly, they only manage to survive their family's abuse due to Ram's unusual abilities. But when the witch's cult attacks the Oni village, Ram's horn is shattered, leaving her permanently damaged. Since then, Rem protects her loved ones at all costs. Distrustful of Natsuki Subaru. She kills him several times before he finally earns her trust. Once she falls in love with him, she sacrifices herself fighting the white whale and is erased by the demon beast's mist of elimination ability. It's not unusual for her to go into a frenzy in battle if she is pushed to the limit. She and Eren would be great allies, as in the end, their goals are similar. 3. Yuichiro Hayakuya is dedicated to avenging his family Seraph of the End. The protagonist of Seraph of the End, Yuichiro grows up as an orphan, living under the protection of the Hayakuya sect with Michaela and the other children. Captured by vampires and used for their blood, they hatch a plan to escape, only to be intercepted by Ferret Bathory. Yuichiro is the only survivor and he joins the Japanese Imperial Demon Army aiming to destroy the vampires who killed his family. Unbeknownst to him, he is a seraph, a magical curse created through human experimentation. During his first transformation, he goes berserk just like Eren did in Trost. In a fit of desperation, he abandons his humanity, becoming the second trumpet, the king of salt. Eren would happily work with someone like you and embrace all of you's powers. 2. Hawk sacrifices his integrity heroic nature for the greater good My Hero Academia. In the fourth season of Attack on Titan, Eren goes undercover in Marley. During the raid in Liberio, he chooses to set aside his humanity in his quest for freedom. Pro Hero Hawks is in a similar situation in My Hero Academia. He goes undercover, pretending to ally himself with Dobby and the rest of the League of Villains. He is forced to kill twice during the battle with the Paranormal Liberation Front, and he suffers a serious injury in the aftermath. Eren would certainly respect the fastest hero alive. Though, they might occasionally butt heads. 1. Ken Kaniki embraces his ghoul powers to protect Antiku Tokyo Ghoul. Dating can be an unpleasant experience for everyone, but no one is unluckier than Tokyo Ghoul's protagonist Ken Kaniki. His date Rise is a ghoul and tries to eat him. In a twist of fate, Rise is crushed under heavy beams and he escapes. But when he wakes up, he finds Rise's organs have been transplanted into him. And he's become a ghoul. He's taken in by the understanding ghouls of Antiku, but he just can't get a break. Captured and tortured by the ghoul Jason, he becomes so determined to protect his friends that he embraces his power as a ghoul. Eren's reasons and his fate are quite similar to Kaniki's. The only difference is that Kaniki gets a second chance through Tokyo Ghoul, 
Re.